Good morning Davao, good morning Mindanao, good morning North, South, East and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Martihikatso. For the headlines. Weather forecast. Through a low pressure area affecting southeastern section of Mindanao. Local news. PRRD tells PBBM, be happy and satisfied with six years term. Persons. In C. Bangui Rotonda, viral video to face charges. Three kids drone found in separate location. Alvarez Slam PBBM, like the mayo at Davnor Rally, calls them Bangag. National News CDC remits 1.80 billion. To National Treasury. Olympic Outreach Cup Fire Prevention Month. International News. Boyard Man, hero who confronted Stabber, promised Australia visa. Russia Kazakhstan floods, colossal floods heading for Kurgan. Entertainment News Chinese Internet Amused by Building That Looks Like Sanitary Pad Meet Rewriting Destiny Star Dong Si Yi For the Sports UAAP Scenarios How Can NU, UST, LaSalle, or FEO Secure at the Twice to beat advantage. Chelsea penalty row. Mauricio Pochettino can't accept argument before Cole Palmer strike. Featured story. The Central America region where people live longest. Could this 13 year old girl be the next Filipina saint? Side story. Celebrate your party at La Santander Inland Resort. And for the trivia, do you not know or do you know that Dabo City is thriving hub for trade and commerce? Weather forecast, the region of Davao and Soxargen will have cloudy skies accompanied by the by scattered rain, lightning, and thunders due to the trough or through in the low pressure area. Other parts of Mindanao will experience occasionally cloudy to cloudy skies accompanied by scattered rain, lightning, and thunders due to the localized thunderstorms. Light to moderate winds coming from the east to the northeast direction and the sea is smooth to moderate waves. Local news For Former President Rodrigo Duterte told President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. to be contented and not seek another term. Mr. President, be happy and finish your term for six years. Makontento ka na dyan at binigyan ka ng Panginoong Diyos na makapagsilbi sa ating bayan as President. In spite of the fact ng history ninyo, Pagbaba ng tatay mo, hindi maganda. Mr. President, be happy and finish your term for six years. 
Just be satisfied with your position as God has given you time to serve our country as president. In spite of the fact that your history when your father stepped down was not good. Duterte said, uh, said during the hakbang ng Maisog Prayer Rally at the Dabao del Norte Sports Complex in Tagum City on Sunday evening, April 14. Duterte, who was the special guest of the rally, started his speech by reading the provision of Section 4 of Article 7 of the 1987 Philippines. Quoting the Constitution, Duterte said, The President and the Vice President shall be elected by direct vote of the people for a term of six years, which shall begin at noon on the 30th day of June, next following the day of the election, and shall end at noon of the same date, six years thereafter. Dabo City Police Office DCPO assured that both parties involved in the recent physical confrontation, which video went viral in Sibangui Street, Poblacion District, Dabo City on Saturday morning, April 13 this year, will be facing legal charges. The video uploaded on the Facebook platform has been shared and reacted to by thousands of netizens. Mga barkada nga nangaon ug mami sa rotonda nagnilabayay ug bangko. They were friends eating mami at rotonda throwing chairs against each other. The caption said, The video became a hot topic among social media users collectively describing the suspect as unethical and uncultured. Three children who were reportedly missing were found drowned at North South San Juan or North San Juan Barangay Centro Agdao, Dabao City on Saturday evening, April 13, 2024. Based on the spot report provided by the Dabao City Police Office through the Santa Ana Police Station, DCPO, PS Station 1, the three friends who were neighbors who playing along the shores outside their areas but went missing minutes later. The Philippine Coast Guard PCG and Central 911 Search and Rescue Team immediately started a search and retrieval operation. They first discovered the body of the four-year-old floating near the coastal road. On the other hand, the bodies of the two seven-years-old were respectively retrieved along San Jose Epil Beach in Barangay Duterte. Double Del Norte Representative Pantaleon Bebot Alvarez criticized President Bongbong Marcos Jr. and Special Assistant to the President Antonio Lagdameo Jr. calling them bangag during the hakbang ng Maisog Prayer Rally at Dabao del Norte Sports and Tourist Tourism Complex in Tagum City on Sunday night, April 14, 2024. In his lengthy speech, the former House Speaker mocked the two officials for their alleged drug addiction and substance disorders, which he claimed were evident from their physical gestures and mannerism. Yung nakaupo ngayon, pag nagsalita, ginagawang or gumigewang-gewang ang baba. Tapos, hindi na nga marunong Kumuha pa ng special assistant niya to the president. Isa pang bangag. The current leader's chin moves every time he speaks. And instead of being competent, he appoints another drug up special assistant to the president. He said this while joining the chance of thousands and anti-political charter change, cha-cha rally in Dabao region.
he went on to imitate like the mayor's mannerism, jokingly describing his constant sniffing and a result of a runny nose from excessive sniffing. National News Clark Preford, the Clark Development Corporation, CDC, has remitted a total of $1.80 in cash dividend to the national government. The CDC said this is another record figure posted by the state runs firm. CDC officials, led by their chairman, Edgardo Pamintuan, and President Agnes Devanadera presented the check for a remittance to the develop a Department of Finance, DOF, Secretary Ralph Recto, and the Executive Tower, Finance Building Rojas Boulevard in Malate. Here. The cash dividend for 2023 is the highest single remittance to date from the CDC. The firm said it surpassed the remittance of 1.207 billion covering the dividend year 2022 by 49%. CDC's dividend rate for 2023 was 56% of its net earning in 65% of its net income for the said year, fair DOF records. The celebration of Fire Prevention Month in this city was capped by two significant events, a Fire Olympics and a community outreach at an Aita community. Fire Senior Inspector Joshua Ison acting City Fire Marshal said the Barangay Fire Olympic 2024 was participated by five barangays where Dao captured the top prize. Barangay Dao bested the village of Madapdap, Tabun, Sapang Biabas, and Mabiga. Dao is one of the largest and the most progressive barangay in central Luzon and possesses firefighting capabilities. International News A prince man who tried to stop a deadly stabbing rampage at Sydney's mall has been promised an Australian visa. Demian Gerot was labeled a hero after footage of him confronting knife man Joel Kauchi with a bullyard during Saturday attack went viral. Joel Kauchi killed six people and injured 12 and others before he was shot dead by a police officers. The attack in Bundy, which police says seems to have targeted women, has horrified the nation. Amid the outpouring of grief around the country this week, there has also been a push to, to secure Mr. Gerot, whose visa reportedly expires in a month. The right to stay in the country. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has said he will make sure Mr. Giroud, who has been dubbed by some as Bolliard Man, has no issue renewing his visa. A colossal amount of water is moving towards the Russian city of Korgan, the region's governor has said. Badin Shonkov said that the swollen Tobol River and its tributaries had produced water levels twice those 
of the last major floods in 1994. Floods over the past two weeks have forced evacuation of tens of thousands of people from northern Kazakhstan and bordering areas of Russia. They are caused by the rapid melting of snow and ice combined with heavy rains. On his Telegram channel, Mr. Shunkov urged everyone in areas threatened by flooding to leave their houses immediately, with waters expected to rise as high as 11 feet to 36 feet above normal. Entertainment News The proposed design of a train station in the Chinese city of Nanjing has attracted the attention of Chinese internet users. For all the wrong reasons, authorities say the design of the North Nanjing station takes inspirations from Plums Blossom, which the city is known for, but online Others are pointing out its resemblance to something rather different, a sanitary pad. This is a giant sanitary pad. It's embarrassing to say it looks like a plum's blossom, said one comment on social media site Weibo. The topic has generated millions of views across various Chinese social media platforms. Why can we all... It is a sanitary pad immediately, but the architects can't, one Weibo user said. I think we should take his chance to call for society to pay attention to period shaming. This design is ahead of its time, another user's joke. According to the state owner newspaper, Nanjing Daily the preliminary design was greenlit by the government of Jiangsu province and China State Railway Group. She has showcased her talent across various projects including sea dramas. Dong Xie stands out as one of the rising talents in the Chinese entertainment industry because of her diverse skills and versatile acting abilities. She has showcased her talent across various projects including sea dramas, movies, and sitcoms. Notable among her works are Only the Wind Knows 2017, Killer Maid 2017, 20 Your Life on Season 2 2022 and many more. Currently, viewers can catch her in GMA fantasies or fantaseries, romantic comedy drama, rewriting destiny, airing on Monday to Friday at 8.25 a.m. In the series, she portrays Zeyang Yu Bing, a side character in a comic book who's determined to avoid her tragic fate at the hands of her crush. Zhu Zi Yan, portrayed by Li Ji Yang. And for the sports, as the UAAP Season 86 Women's Volleyball Tournament reaches its climax, the race for the twice to beat advantages intensifies. With only a handful of games left in the elimination round, the University of Santo Tomas, National University, De La Salle University, and Far Eastern University have secured their final four slot and are jockeying, or jockeying for a position to secure a favorable spot in the standing. Let's delve into each team's remaining schedules, and the scenarios they face to clinch the covered twice-to-beat advantage. With two games left in the 
in their regular season campaign, their path to securing the twice to beat advantage is within reach. They are set to face the University of East on April 21 and then slash with De La Salle University on April 27. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino says he was so upset about the dispute over who would take the penalty in their 6 over 0 or 6 0 win over Everton and has warned his players not to do it again. Nicholas Jackson and Noni Maduike urged over who would, who would take a spot kick before the call Palmer a uh, Palmer. Chelsea's regular taker scored his fourth goal. I can't accept this kind of behavior, said Pochettino. I told them it's the last time I want to see this kind of behavior. He added, it is impossible to have this type of behavior after this performance. If we want to be the great team, we need to change and think in collective way. Palmer scored the 64th minute penalty for Blues, his ninth successful spot kick a uh, kick off the season following the bizarre 60 second confrontation involving five players. <music> Featured stories. Blue zones are regions of the world with populations that regularly live into healthy old age. There are just five blue zones on the entire planet and research suggests that they are caused by a combination of factors which range from the diet and weather to religion. A magazine had commissioned or commissioned me to find out why Costa Rica was home to a one of these exceptional regions. So, Dre, my then girlfriend and I flew there from California. From the town of Puerto Rico, Viejo on Costa Rica's Caribbean coast, we took a dug or dug out cano a canoe or canoe up the Yurkan River, deep into the jungle that borders Panama. This is a homeland of Costa Rica's indigenous bravery people whose room remoteness keep their culture alive during successive European invasion. The jungle is teeming with life and the bravery used that bounty for everything ranging from campur sap that repels mosquitoes to a plant that they chew for toothache. To my untrained eye, the Bribri Garden looked much like the rest of the jungle, with different species piled around each other and butterflies fleeting between the branches. But the apparent chaos was deceptive. The diocesan face of the coast of sainthood of a 13-year-old Filipino girl who died in 1993 has officially started. If canonized, Nina Ruiz Abad could become the Philippine third Filipina saint and one of the youngest saints in history. A formal ceremony was held last April 7 at St. William, the Hermit Cathedral in Lawag City, Ilocos Norte, which opened the opening session of the diocesan phase of the cause of beautification or beatification and canonization of Abad. The postulator presented the biography of Abad as well as other documents to Lawag Bishop Renato Mayugba. And for side story, celebrate your party at La Santander Inland Resort.
Let's watch this. For the trivia, do you know that Davao City is the thriving hub for trade and commerce? Davao City's strategic location and robust economy make it an ideal destination for business opportunities. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated of the news of Pinoy Rob News Channel. This is Gilbert Lopez Martihi Katso. Good morning.